Folks, if you think this is another hindsight trading video on YouTube, you're heavily mistaken. I've got my own trading mentor here who traded across Friday the 15th of November. He sent me the recording. I didn't even know he was gonna do it, but hey, we're gonna get to go through and see every trade he took. In fact, he took five trades in the recording and then went on to trade another handful of times throughout the day and made $1,500 on the account. So you're gonna get to see how it all played out here in this video. We're gonna go tick by tick through each of these trades. You're gonna get to really understand the sort of thinking behind taking profits, moving stop losses, risk management, that kind of thing. So we're gonna dive in now. If you love it and think, damn, I wanna see more of this, then here's what you need to do. Hit that like button on this video because if we get to 500 likes, he's promised that he will do another one of these. So folks, let's dive in. I asked him a question to start off, so let's have a look at what that was. Do you wanna quickly talk us through what, um, the styles that you did, you had two different styles during the session. I mean, how did you split them up and why did you split them up? Okay. It's, yeah, so there's two parts. The first, I think, five trades is uh, limit order trading on low time frames. Okay. At that, during that first five trades, I was constantly at the screen. I, I, I didn't leave the screen. Okay. I needed to be there to, to, uh, to manage the trades. Um, everything can happen very, very quickly. That was the first five trades. The second, uh, the rest of the trades that, that, that they're going to see in the PL was from a from a higher time frame where I was trading where I couldn't be at the chart all of the time. I was doing other stuff at the time, uh, so I had to trade with a wider stop loss. I was trading on a uh, taking information off a higher time frame. So there was two very very different styles of trading. Okay, cool. Now, what we're going to do, folks, is dive in and have a look at this first trade here. So if you're not familiar with this, this is C Trader. This is the line here is a, an order that's been placed. It's one lot. So you just stuck it at one lot, didn't you, for demonstration purposes in terms of this whole session. You didn't do any sort of risk management around, like, changing that up. Um, so let's have a look at and see how this guy actually trades these uh, markets. So... Do you want to talk through anything that pops up here? So I've hit play on this video and we're going to see this go through very slowly. So the market's basically stored at this point. I'm going to skip through 30 seconds. Yeah, I think, I, I don't, I don't think, I think I canceled this one. You, yeah. can, you can see I didn't get a fill, right? It was very, 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 very close. Okay. Which, which highlights the accuracy of this. Sometimes I only got to be a little bit out and unfortunately I'll miss a fill. Yeah. So that one didn't get filled. And let's see what happens here. So I'm nicking forward every 30 seconds. Didn't get a fill again. Yeah, yeah. And then I think at this point here, you delete the order, if I'm right. Yeah. So let's have a look. You might even see it get deleted. Here we go. You've moved it. Okay, you moved it up. You thought, yeah. for whatever reason, that setup was done. Yeah. You're looking to go short again at this level. Did that yeah. fill? Can I, Do you remember if it filled? I, I don't think that filled either. Let's have a look. Yeah, it did fill because it's yeah. Oh, it, it did, did, did it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. So you move okay. the stop. So I'm just going backwards. Okay. So backwards, we'll probably actually see yeah. it if we go back and have a look. Okay. So you see it slip. That yeah, order. it did fill. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So it did fill. So that was like straight in, and must have been quite a like a level that somebody else is trading because I mean obviously it's just pushed straight. Again, down. that that just shows the accuracy when you know what you're looking for. Yeah. So at this point, we skip forward. So your stop loss has moved. Do you want to talk about your stop loss um, placement and why you have you move it so quickly? Well, I'm kind of trend there, here, right? Okay, it's, it's, you know, on this time frame at least, right? It's kind of trend. But my, my decision-making really is based on a chart that they can't see, okay? Right. So, uh, and, and that is what drove me to put my stop loss uh, uh, to break even, okay? The, the market is, 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 is bullish at this point. So I'm countering the trend. Uh, if I'm countering the trend and I'm not expecting a reversal, I'm not going to, you know, not expecting the market to go that far. Um, the when I when I placed it, I had a mental stop loss. The mental stop loss again was placed uh, in an area on on a chart that they can't see. Okay, uh, the, the, this one minute chart here is just for demonstration purposes. Um, the uh, stop loss probably though would have been in kind of this region here, right? Do okay. you want to just click on the chart because yeah, I think the mouse. Yeah, yeah sure, go, just... sure. Yeah, I can see my mouse now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would have been in this re this region. 
this region. It depends on what's happening at the time. You know, sometimes it could be as far as here. But basically, when you when you're scalping these levels, there's no need to have a, a, a stop loss that's too far away. Again, okay. it, it was a mental it was a mental one. Yeah. But yeah. let's um let's have a look at this. Okay, so you, you get it. Now you're going long. So you've flipped from shorts to long, which you yeah, know, and not a lot of people do. So this is what this is, I suppose, a demonstration of how much so you've deleted that order how much sort of knowledge you've got putting into play here to be able to do that short to long and then long again all right what happens here do we yeah. get a fill i believe this one might get filled if we wait a little bit we might see it slip in mm. um i'm just going to skip forward no no fill there mm. and so if this is you had got filled <laughs> look where yeah. it went right so it was this, so close. This, this is basically you've got to be pretty reasonably quick you don't have much time to to um, make your decisions, right? Okay, yeah, so yeah. I, I could be flipping from long to short. You, you know, even even here, you see I'm going short against the trend. Mm. Uh, there was so there was no fill there again. Missed a tiny bit, right? It, yeah. You know, had I to call that, which is easy to say in hindsight, there would have been a nice trade there. Okay. You know Blue Guardian as a trusted name in prop trading, but guess what? They're back and they're expanding, introducing Blue Guardian Futures. Futures traders, this is your moment. Blue Guardian Futures is here with a waitlist promo you don't want to miss. Be one of the first 5,000 to grab a challenge and get 40% off, plus no activation fee. That's right, zero. Picture this, a smooth 6% profit target, lightning fast payouts and 24-7 support that's always got your back and wait for it, a 100% profit share up to 15k. No catches, just pure earnings. After that, you still get an incredible 90%. Want a shot at one of five 50k futures challenges? Just drop a comment below with your favorite Blue Guardian Futures feature and you're in the draw. So futures traders, get ready. Blue Guardian Futures is launching very soon. Click that link in the description, join the waitlist now, grab that discount and be part of this next level opportunity. And I think this is where a lot of um, newbies will get frustrated, right? They've mm. waited, they saw that setup, they might have like five minutes from the last setup, assuming they were going short here. Uh, sorry, was it long here? They missed, they're now waited four or five minutes. They miss that one. It goes flying up. What are you thinking at this point? Well, first of all, I don't get I don't get frustrated because I missed a trade, right? I missed an entry by a tiny bit. Okay. So a novice trader now, maybe he would say, All right, I, you know, I want in. So he's going to buy up here and he's going to chase the market. And he's going to realize the market doesn't go that far in his favor. I I, I don't get frustrated about that. Okay. I just I I, I just keep a cool head. I know I don't have to wait too long for the next setup to come. So I just exercise a little bit of patience and I wait for the next one to come. That's how I deal with it. Okay, well, let's skip forward. So we got a order being pushed there. I think That's a if, we, if we go back, yeah, so you can see here, so it's slipped slips, slips from this level here. Yeah. Uh, once it gets, okay, so there you go. As it gets slipped, pushes through, and then um, away it goes another level that's like just held um nicely there. there's obviously a lot of orders coming in at that point let's skip forward a bit because this one does get a little bit of drawdown and then it starts to look like it's going to work out yeah stop loss to break even stopped out so that was two stop outs um with no runners at the moment so that was the goal right so you've got this level highlighted here We'll yeah, the, 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 I'm trying to, for demonstration purposes, I'm trying to catch a runner, okay? And and as a result of that, I didn't take profit. I could have taken partial profits or profits on these on these little scalps, right? So the ones that I've basically gone into profit, I've let them come back and, and, and get stopped out for, for a break even, okay? But we'll go on and you will see the, uh, that I do catch that runner, uh, that runner. Now, if anyone just missed it, so he had an order here, which he mm -hmm. deleted, and that one also went straight up. So. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, I I can't catch every move, and I'm making my, yeah. dis, my making my decision based on probabilities at the time. And if it, if it says it's probably going to go down, then I'm going to cancel my order, right? Now that, that doesn't mean I'm going to be right all of the time. Clearly, if I'd have left my order there, I could have benefited from that. Mm. So you kind of like a little bit lower than that prior level. Let's have a look. See, you might get a. Yeah, I think you yeah. should get a fill here. So yep, yeah, sl slips ever so slightly in your favor. Um, yeah. Let's have a look at what happens. So smashes straight back up. You got a tight take profit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, obviously not expecting it to go far because I haven't seen take profits on the others. And then again, like I said, trying to catch the. You know, I could 
bank partials. I could have banked partials on pretty much all of the trades so far and probably would have put the account somewhere in the region of about $300 up already, or just based on one lot. Mm. Okay. So so we still get a break even again, which, you know, <laughs> if I mean, if you actually just, we just pause it there. So folks, look at this. So break even, back into profit. What are you thinking here? Because a lot of folks, if they've got four break evens in a row, or three, I think you've got here, are going to be frustrated to the max. I mean, how do you manage to not get frustrated about all the break evens? Because I'm sticking to my plan, right? My plan was to catch a runner for demonstration purposes. Okay, so I'm, 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 you know, my my focus really wasn't on taking uh, profits, right? I was doing this in a very, very tight market. So it, was, it, it, you know, it was it was it was range bound. So I I knew trying from the get go that trying to catch the runner was wasn't perhaps going to be the easiest thing. But you don't know which one is going to be the runner, right? Okay, uh, I just I just it, it just doesn't draw me into um, a, a place where I'm going to get frustrated. I don't have to be mm. because. I don't have to wait too long for, as you can see, I don't have to wait too long before I place the next order. It's a handful of minutes, perhaps, right? Yeah. So this is so this is now triggered in mm -hmm. um with no no slip on the fill there. Yeah. Two candles, two minutes, two minutes to get back into profit. And mm -hmm. then once again, tight take profit. No stop loss in place yet. Stop loss is now in place. I think this is the last one that you get break in even. So yeah, you know, and as with as with this one, if my if my stop year was underneath the low, okay, then it was the right thing to do to move my stop to break even, okay, yeah. because I would have been stopped out, and you would have seen that on one or two of the prior trades already. That if I didn't manage the trade in the way I did, and my stop loss was at the low, which which is where a majority of stop losses would be, then they would clearly be stop outs, right? Mm. Okay. So let's just skip forward. So now you finally realized, oh, it's a good idea to put the deal map, uh, sorry, to put the uh, orders on. So, and the actual. Oh, the, uh, yeah, I just put trades. the history on so pe people can yeah. see this being populated in real time. Yeah. So let's have a look here. Uh, okay. So you can finally take another trade. So we can actually see this one get filled. We'll just go back a little bit. Gets filled, minus five pips. Um, and then. What happens with it? So this one gets a little bit of drawdown to start yeah. with. Okay, now we get a decent push up, and yeah, this is the runner now, right? Yeah. This is trade. This is trade five. And, so, mm. and the, you're you're obviously not moving your stop to break even at this point for for a reason, yeah. For a reason, yeah, absolutely yeah. for for a reason. The the, the um. The, I, say, I say that I say that because yeah. I think you've told me the reason. I'm pretty sure you have. So yeah, 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 yeah. There's it, 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 that was a slightly tricky trade for people. Anybody on the one minute chart. Bear in mind, my my order placing wasn't based on the one minute chart, right? You see, there was a double top there. So people, you know, they get a nice strong confirmation candle, they go short, and then they get stopped out. Okay, that would that was the value of putting weight on a mm. higher time frame. So at this point here, you now putting the stop to break even. So you, you could have had another break even, but let's have a look. This is where yeah, we started the video. And like I said, you, do, you don't know which one is going to be the runner. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just going to go back 10 seconds here and have a look. So what's, what you're going to notice folks is stop losses there. Do you want to talk us through what happens? Uh, yeah, obviously it's a risk, it's a, it's a risk free trade. Now I've locked in a little bit of profit. I, I'm this time I'm going with the trend. So, you know, I've got a, you could say I got more likelihood that this one is going to be the runner, but there's still no guarantee. Okay, mm -hmm. it goes on to be a runner, and 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 as you as as you can see where my take profit is, you can see that the this candle comes up and it doesn't it just doesn't quite touch it. Now I understand about broker difference and all the rest of it spreads. Okay, uh, uh, and again it's it, it's accurate, but I'm just off. So when I see a candle like this, then that that that. It is got a um, rejection on the top. There's a reasonable chance now. It's not even going to hit my take profit. And I don't want to give the, all that profit back, which is a reason why I brought the stop loss and up underneath the current candle. Mm. And I think if anyone's listening and watching and thinking and not thinking that this is the mindset that everyone goes on about, that people can't, I suppose, seem to relate to other people 
around trading is like don't like not being greedy. So this is not being greedy, right? Greedy is like I want that extra whatever it is, three or four pips to hit my well, take profit. I, exactly. I would I I was being greedy trying to get a runner in, in the first trades. Like I said, mm. if I'd a, if I had a bank profit on those three or, on those first three or four trades, I I'd a, it'd be three or four hundred dollars up already. Mm. But you weren't but you weren't being greedy, but sorry, you weren't being fearful that those trades weren't working out and giving you profit. You were you were like quite content taking break even after break even. Oh, absolutely, because I know I don't have to wait long to get another trade. Yeah. And there's a you know, at some point I'm gonna get a runner. Yeah. So I think it's it's the fear and greed kind of balance that, you know, they all talk about around trading. So that ended yeah. up being a um a good profitable trade, 27 pips. Uh, you got that runner, and then our video kind of comes to an end here. But I think was there anything else we had to to see here? I don't think there well, was. Can that I was... just add on to that? What, what what do I see that's important in that? Okay, yes, it's only five trades. I get it, but there's no drawdown. Yeah. You know, there, what, what, I haven't given any money to the market right at this point. So so at this point, I've got everyone's a winning trade. You know, four of them technically are break evens. All right but no loss. Hey folks, what a view behind me. I'm at Black Bull Markets headquarters here in Auckland, New Zealand. Speaking of views, you can get TradingView paid plans for free at Black Bull Markets, saving you up to $600 a year. That's right, get either the Essential Plus or Premium plans absolutely free, and all you need to do is trade from one lot a month at Black Bull Markets. And you can also get a 100% deposit bonus for your first deposit up to $1,000. All you need to do is click the Trading Nut link in the description below. Yeah, so, so it, look, it's, we got more to show from this, folks. So what we're going to do is actually put this whole video up in the um, on the page after you opt in to win the one hundred and fifty thousand dollars mentorship with JJ. Uh, below the video, there's a link, or if you're listening on a podcast, then go and check it out in the pod. But yeah, so this is we put the whole video up, so you can go through and watch one hour and 35, 37 minutes or whatever it is of this video uh, and see every single tick if you want to check things out for yourself. Now, there was some uh, extra trading that you did do afterwards, and you mentioned it at the start around a separate session. So I'm just going to zoom in here and show people what this looks like. So this is the full profit and loss statement after those first few trades. So do you want to um, talk us through it? And whilst you're doing it, I'm just going to mark some stuff up here on this um on the screenshot well sure the first the first five trades which is what was recorded okay are kind of what where you're drawing your box right now um if you take a look over to the uh, time stamps the opening and the closing time you can see that the longest trade actually was the the running trade and that was eight minutes, a little over eight minutes. Yeah, maybe eight or nine minutes here. Yeah. Well, From 1830, so 8, 18, yeah, 1830 here. I don't know if they can see my mouse. 1830 here to 1838. Okay. So, so basically an eight minute, 10, 11 second trade. So that run I would you know, was eight minutes, but that mm. was the, that, you know, obviously the, the viewers could see how long the trades were kind of lasting. But if you look through, uh, you know, the, I mean, take the first trade for argument's sake, it's like uh, uh, 18 minutes past, almost 19 minutes past five. It was over in two minutes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. It was a break even, but there was profit. There was profit there. Had I chosen to take it. Right. Okay. Uh, we come that that was the first, that was basically the first session. Okay. That was, uh, limit order trading on the uh, uh, on the lower time frames. They, I had, I was actually doing stuff in the kitchen at the time uh, of the second uh, uh, part of the session, which is the trades which are below the box. Okay, let me make it up for them. Yeah, and then and this was a total different style of trading, based on the fact that I couldn't be at the charts all of the time. So I had to trade, so I was trading information off higher time frames. I was using wider stop losses. Uh, the market was uh, was in a range. Um, the trade, the trade at the bottom here, the losing, the losing trade at the bottom. 
I'd actually uh, added to that position, which I don't, which I don't recommend that uh, that new traders actually do. I was I was in a losing position. I came back to the screen. I was I was in drawdown. We were in a range. I was confident. It was it was Friday night. Uh, the, the market was very unlikely to break out of that range. Uh, you know, not too long before the market was going to close for the weekend. So I I added to that. I added to what you know people would say was a losing position. A kind of do, a, a dollar cost averaged, right? Um, However, there was a level there that that I knew was probably a reasonable chance that it wasn't going to let my first part of the position uh, out for a break even, which is why it became a loss. So to ensure that the trade became profitable overall, I did increase the position size for this for this uh, for this trade here, the second one from the bottom. So if you take a look at these two uh, these two trades, the winner and the loser, the loser. You can see if you deduct the loser from the winner, it was still a profitable position uh, overall. So that was basically down to trade management uh, and the fact that I was trading a higher time frame. I had more wiggle room. My my stop loss was a hard stop loss because I wasn't constantly at the sc screens, but it was outside of the trading range. So I had, I had wiggle room to play with. So basically, in a nutshell, what I was doing was trading a different style for a different reason, which is basically how I would trade on on every. You know, I'm going to look at the conditions. Am I? Can I be at the screen? If I can be at the screen, then I can scalp. If I can't be at the screen, then I have to take a different different approach. Nice. Okay. Well, look, um, Dave, go, folks. So that's like the total here was fifteen hundred and one dollars and fifty six uh, sixty one cents, I think. So uh, combined, I think it was like a ninety two percent win rate. We worked it out uh, for one day's worth of trading. This is like pretty good on a crappy market. If you guys go back and look at that gold marker on Friday the fifteenth of November, it was pretty damn average. It didn't go very far. Now. Uh, what we're going to do is talk to you about uh, DTC. So Dynamic Traders Series, uh, this is a little bit of an update for anyone that's following along with uh, this new series, this concept of creating the Dynamic Traders Club, which is based on the strategies and teachings of JJ. Now, we have realized that things are taking a little bit longer than normal um, or what we expect to actually get the dynamic traders stuff all up and running and, and give you guys some decent updates. We're in the process of still beta testing and we're going down this whole sort of university study kind of route, but it's going to take a lot longer. Instead, we've actually come up with something that might be a little bit more suitable in a shorter term time frame to come and give you guys something to sink your teeth into. Now, what we're going to do is reveal that on an upcoming webinar with JJ. And at the same time, you guys can get any questions answered on the way you traded in these sessions, uh, your trading, any help with your trading, uh, anything that you've got trading related and probably even life related he can probably he can give you some solutions some answers even if you're looking at a particular market and want to see um if your trade is likely to work or not likely to work that kind of thing come along we're going to do a webinar if you do want to show your interest in the webinar get notified when it actually hits the air then fill in that form below there's a link direct, directly below this video go and fill it in you're also going to get a chance to win that $150,000 mentorship with them and there's a bunch of other stuff in there and as I said at the start we'll also include the full trading session video as well um, folks please go down hit that like hit that subscribe grab that link and chuck it in your browser, fill in the form, and we'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video.